that we're still looking at just rain in our forecast. It gets a little bit cooler next week with some rain in the forecast, and I know you've probably seen on some social media sites that we may see some snow here in our area. No snow on our forecast, but more on that. Let's check in with meteorologist Emily Kay. Emily? That's right, Mike. It's often difficult to differentiate between Facebook hype and actual thought out forecasts posted on Facebook by local meteorologists. But there are a few things you can look for to tell the difference between the two. We've all seen it before. A social media post talking about snow a week and a half out goes viral. And when the day in question comes around, it's sunny with a high well above freezing. They can just take a screenshot and just say, yeah, this is what's going to happen and dig up and, and kind of like uh, concern the people and the public with just one piece of information and, and compare with all the other rest. And they're not going to show the one that says no, no snow, right? They're always going to try to beat the worst case scenario. So how do you tell the difference between a hyped up weather post and an actual forecast? First, look at the date they're talking about. If they mention a weather event a week and a half out, it's probably a hype post. Trying to tell people that kind of think twice, you know, if this is, uh, if we were you, you know, you kind of take a look how the image looks, how, how far away you're looking at the information and, and because anybody can post and, and get the attention and on all that information. We all have to work together to make sure that we can differentiate between one piece of the information and the other. And these posts don't just happen with winter weather. They can happen year round with any kind of significant weather event. It happens before with severe weather, with hurricanes, you know, always take a look at the worst, uh, the worst case scenario just because they wanted to get the attention. That doesn't mean it might happen, it might not. You know, we, it's just a piece of information, uh, combination with all the mother forecasts that can be a, a tool in the toolbox to make, to make the actual forecast and, and be the, what could ha really happen. And as always, you can get the most accurate weather forecast here at fox44news.com on air and online. If you also have a question about weather or anything else you've seen online, send it to news at kwkt.com and we'll answer for you. In the Weather Center, Emily Kay, Fox 44 News.